Let's continue with the recovery of our economy after several wars. And uh, we have six loans still to pay off. It's going to be a long time coming, probably. Our interest rates are back up to where they were. Failed administration. Our administration has failed our people. Instead of justice for all, all there is justice for the few. It is undermining the very support of our state. Uh, let me guess. Lose stability. Or gain corruption. I will lose stability. We were at three. I'll take I'll take a hit to hit to stability. The Teutonic Separatists should be rising sometime in the near future. We're improving relations with France. When we're done, it'll be at 89, so not entirely full, uh, not entirely a uh, level that can complete the mission. Uh, we can spend Splendor to what the hell just happened. Okay. Uh, Great Horde. Peace with Muscovy. Uh, the Great Horde is now a shadow of its, of its former self. Lubeck has accepted peace with Pomerania. We can, we're now, okay. Uh, our peace treaty with Denmark has expired. Muscovy has the mission to subjugate the Crimea. I want to purchase an ability of some kind. I can, ta I can take the feudal du jour law. Minus five unrest. What is the unrest in these provinces. It's higher than five. Justified wars, aggressive expansion impact minus 10%. I think that's not as important right now. Uh, transfer subject allows transfer subject piece treaty at half cost. Um, improved war taxes. Cavalry armies. Cavalry to infantry ratio. I'm going to say no on that. I don't know why I do like the adaptive combat terrain, which gives plus one bonus in terrain of capital. So, basically, if uh, I think ours is farmlands, yeah. So, if there's a battle in any farmlands that involves our troops, our troops gain plus one bonus to uh, what was it? Plus one combat bonus. So in Buzao, for example, we just get, uh, because it's farmland terrain, we get plus one combat bonus. That's my understanding of that. England is the new pa uh, pope, papal controller, and they've revoked the excommunication of Castile. I'll invest. Truce with Brandenburg is over. I can pour the state lands in. I'll wait until next month, actually. Poland, our uh, Muscovy is now my rival, or has rivaled me. We've gained the trade dispute against Skov. I'm just waiting for them to ally Denmark again. Um, we're very close to having France satisfying that mission with France. I forgot to core the province whenever I wanted to. But, uh, salt crisis. Rumors are sweeping the country that there has been a shortage in salt production. Although we have tried to quash these rumors, people are certain that they're certain there will be a salt crisis soon. We will have to live with this. Minus 10% production efficiency for two years. It's not too bad, I guess. I mean, it sucks that we lose money, but again, it's not that much money. 
Uh, the nation of Bohemia, my faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Bohemian conquest of Potsdam against Brandenburg. Brandenburg have no allies. Wow. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, could we maybe get something out of this? Do I want anything out of this? No, I think that would risk pissing off... Pissing off Austria, or Bohemia, whoever the emperor at the time is. Is Austria's heir still female? Maria von Habsburg? So, Bohemia is the current... The current heir to the empire? I mean, I don't really want to do this. But I will. I will increase my army maintenance and also increase my maintenance of this fort. And the one in Tuchola as well. I think everything else is pretty, uh, pretty well protected. I want my subjects to be aggressive. Why not? Hey, the Teutonic Order's uh, liberty desire is down to 17. When we took the vassalization, we kind of... Uh... Actually, I'm also going to... Uh, Unmoth all that one. Yeah, the one in Torre Vista. I'll recall the one from France, the diplomat. Um, we don't have an, an honest fort in Warsaw. That scares me a little bit. And I don't have the money to do it. We're actually losing money right now. But, uh... I'll go and occupy Newmark, Newmark just so that I get some of whatever they're, they give me at the end of the war. Wallachian peasants or uh, Wallachian uh, separatists are about to rise up. We'll go and take care of that. We're probably not going to get much out of this war, if anything. As far as, I mean, the gold and war reparations. Okay, that's better. I think it was. Pre I think we were going to take some. Uh, Financial losses because our, our armies needed to recover a little bit. We've renewed loans again. I'll turn that over to Bohemia and these, these guys as well. Just to as a show of good faith and of course now I have to split my armies don't I um harsh treatment we're still ahead of time on uh, on military right no, keep those ones harsh treatment papal states gone to war with Savoy I will send my diplomat back to France, and it's a 100% war score already. That was a short war. Bohemian conquest of Potsdam. Such event has called on war. Okay. We've gained 14 favors. Um. Bohemia, what's your aggressive expansion against the world 49s all around ooh there's a fi oh okay that 55 is 
I don't know. Some of those are pretty high. Most of it's 49, though. And Austria's probably going to demand their... Uh, demand the unlawful territory. Maybe not. Let's mothball that forts again. Um, what are our favors like with everybody? Whoa, no, no, no. Uh, don't do provinces of interest. Does Lithuania have any? Okay, they have been working on fabricating claims on Muscovy, so that's good. Um... Alcor Bazal. I did lower those. L or mothball those. Um, that's what I was going to check. I wanted to check favors with uh, my allies. 31 favors with Bohemia. I will increase my trust with them. Up till I have... I still have 10 with, uh, left with them. Novgorod has 9. Wait a minute. Okay, I didn't didn't do that. Thought it might have been bad. As far as me uh, making their uh, land a province of interest of mine. And no guy has 22. Now has 12. We have too many diplomat uh, relations. Um, I keep doing that. Let me see the Teutonic Order again. Fourteen ninety-eight. We will probably not have the relations with them to annex them as soon as possible. Um, we'll wait and see whether they will annex or not. Probably not, but uh, no focus, no focus. I'll maintain my diplomat with France for now. We've renewed a loan. Lucky us. Come on, Wallachian Separatists. You know you want to. I wish there was an option that, like, made that you could basically force them to uh, rise up. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to Novgorod, your faithful ally is, Muscovy is allied with Denmark. Oh. Yes, yeah, let's do that. I don't really want to, but uh, I don't want to break an alliance right now. Novgorod, Novgorod declared a conquest against Moscow. Wait, what? Okay, I was going to say it would be. I was going to be surprised if uh, Denmark didn't come in. I really don't want to increase my uh, ma uh, my fort maintenance again, but. Uh, be aggressive. Actually, no focus. Do what you think is best. Don't attach to me. Uh, I'm going to play a defensive role. I'm basically going to keep no or keep enemy armies out of my land. Secrets in our alliance. Um, I'll. 
take the last option. I don't care if Bohemian gets plus 10. Uh, bonus against us, I'm going to increase this fort too. We've convert. We've successfully converted uh, Halch. Well, I can convert all of the Orthodox provinces that I have. Um, let's just go with Laval. We'll convert the ones that are fastest. A few more months, and we can. Uh, wait a minute. Sweden's liberty desire is 74.8 right now. Um, they're at war with me. I can't support their independence. I really wish I could. I really want to support their independence. Get out of their Teutonic Order. Portugal took a golden era. We've lost the statesman. Um wasn't the guy we were hiring. No, we have a diplomat right now. I can core that. I will do that. Maybe I should have tried to convert one of these instead of the one that I did. Oh, I really wish I could support the Swedish independence. Uh, what counties does Li uh, Lithuania have claims on? Rajev, uh Zubtsov, uh, Tambov, and Kasimov. I'll turn that over to Lithuania. This one I will turn over to Novgorod. Okay, they won that battle. What's going on with the revolts? Watchings are still at. How long will it take? About 0.4 years. Discovered an agent. Um, give Lithuania Mos Moscow. Please, turn it over to them. Let them court, and that's 18, uh, 18 development. That I myself don't have to court. Uh, Twer can be exactly what it is. Actually, no. Anything I'm not uh, making Lithuanian, or uh, Lithuania's, I will make Novgorod's. And maybe I should have turned Mos uh, Moscow over to Novgorod. Claims on our rivals. We get a claim on Thames or Temis. And I think that's in. It is in Hungary. It's southern Hungary. It's the one that actually borders the Ottomans. I will take the claim, but I'm probably not going to press it. I don't know what I just agreed to. I don't know. Rebel Uprising? Come on, guys. Rise up so that we can get this fight over with, so that I can go maybe help my ally.
We have a free advisor slot. When does our next loan come due? 1497 August. Um, I don't really want to unmothball those, but I, at the same time, I don't see anyone coming over. And uh, I think Denmark's mostly moving through, moving up through Sweden to get to Muscovy. We don't even personally have to help. I'm still on five for speed. I'm turning that down while uh, this war is going on. Just to help me keep uh, keep a closer uh, hold on what's going on and what I where, if I need to move my troops anywhere. Come on, guys. I could just increase the uh, autonomy, but I don't want to, because that means I lose out on money. Stop from improving relations. Uh, protect against Hungary. They have 31 troops. What is my force limit? 43. Become paper controller. I do want to invest again, but I'm not going to take that mission. Um, I'm going to take the proper floor, no, protect against Hungary. Annex Vassal, 1498, that's November of next year. And we're not too far off the relations we need to actually make it happen. Will these rebels please rise? What is the Pope's opinion of us right now? I can use some improvement. Not, not a lot, but... What is... Okay, the def like the fort there still so has three thousand troops already. So, I don't think I can support their independence. We are at war. Yeah, I don't know if I would if we were not. Thank go thank God that happened finally. I might have wanted to put my armies on one of these to make the make it so that they didn't have as much as many uh, troops that were go, going to spawn. But we should be fine. We'll win that with no problems. Do we get any good? Uh... Nope. Level two and a level two. I'm almost willing to sp spend 75 more uh, points to lower my inflation again. I do. I will shift consolidate. What's going on in Prussia? Those are insanely low. Why are they so low? Because they're Catholic, probably. Um, Polish ambition, positive stability, legitimacy, and elective monarchy. I forget, I always forget the elective monarchy gives us, uh, negative, uh, revolt, or unrest. Let's go end that siege. 
Crimea has declared war on their new enemy, Georgia. Okay. Um, are they going to win that? Please win that. Nope, they're going to lose that. Yep, they lost that. I'll send my guys in here. The Statute of Piotr. Piotr Kahl. Under uh, Jan, the, Jan Ulbricht, the son of Casimir IV, the policy of giving concessions to the nobility continued. In 1496, the Statute of Piotrkov uh, was instituted. It implied that serfdom was ex it was strengthened and accepted in law. It forbade all workers to move from their villages except one, e one every year. It later was extended with a work duty of six days a week. At this point, the peasants of Poland had lost not only power, but also their freedom. The power lay in the hands of no the nobility. An act gained stability, gained mercantilism, gained technology costs until that's 30 years, refused to enact, lose three stability. I mean, I really don't want to, but I don't want to lose three stability. Mercantilism is all right. We've renewed a loan. Papal relations are maxed out. What's the... All right, it's... Sweden still hates their... Still hates Denmark, thank God, because we would not... We would probably not be doing as well as we are if uh, they didn't. Shift consolidate, split them off. Denmark coming to fight us? No. Our generals die. We have a lot of military power right now. One of our advisors also died. And of course, as soon as we're able to pay off the loan, we can't because we have to hire a new advisor. Um, oh, okay, I thought, I thought it said a general died. Occupy Kolomna. That's not one of the ones Lithuania has claimed to, no? No. Oh, this one is, uh... Um, I can't tell them that I want that. I can't tell them I want Moscow. Mo uh, Moscow. Okay. I didn't select anything accidentally there, did I? No. Are they going to go and wait with them, or what's going on there? What happened? Bohemia like, made peace with somebody. Let's bring my armies around here to Mojesk. They're going to Rajev. I will go to Rajev. Shift consolidate here. Oh. We will 
turn these over to Novgorod. All right. Um, I'm going to split these guys off again. But uh, I need to end the episode. Our armies are separated, aren't they? The Teutonics, uh, the Teutonic Order is down here. Or do uh, Doyev is over here. Lithuania, not sure what they're doing. We'll see. But uh, I was hoping to catch the Muscovite army in Rajev, but they they got away. All right, but yeah, we'll uh, continue the second war against Mo uh, Muscovy in the next episode. Even though I don't think. I think I'm actually less likely to get land here uh, than I really wish that I was. Because this there's going to be a truce here and I've It's all about conquering Muscovy and uh Muscovy and beyond, I should say. But uh We'll deal with it 